Pythagoras was born around 570 BCE on the island of Samos, a small place ruled by a tyrant where education was limited and free thinking was dangerous. But even as a young boy, he was fascinated by order, patterns in nature, the rhythm of footsteps, the way numbers seemed to shape everything around him. As he grew older, he traveled far from home, to Egypt, to Babylon, to the centers of ancient knowledge. He studied mathematics, astronomy, geometry, music, and religion, absorbing ideas from every culture he met. When he returned to Greece, he founded something unusual, a school that was also a community, the Pythagorean Brotherhood. It wasn't just about mathematics, it was about a disciplined life, learning, silence, self-control, and the belief that numbers were the language of the universe. His students lived together, ate together, studied together, and followed strict rules. They believed the soul could be purified through knowledge, and that understanding the world required harmony, in thought, in behavior, and in numbers. And yes, the famous theorem that bears his name was only a small part of his legacy. Pythagoras helped redefine mathematics as a tool for explaining reality itself. But his influence came with conflict. His ideas were so different, and his community so strict and mysterious, that outsiders became suspicious. Rumors spread, tensions rose, and eventually a mob attacked his community, forcing Pythagoras and his followers to flee. Despite the chaos, his teachings survived. His students continued spreading his ideas about number, harmony, the soul, and the structure of the cosmos. More than 2,500 years later, the world still teaches the theorem, but his real gift was something deeper, the belief that the universe has order and that human beings can understand it. Learn about a philosopher each day, subscribe for another one,